Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Coders. My name is Vinay. I hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate GitHub with our Canvas App Power App. Now, many of you might be wondering why do we integrate GitHub in the first place, right? So the reason is very simple. The limitation of Canvas App is at a time only one developer can edit the application or single application I can say. So let us say I have three developers in my team and I want all of them to work together on a single Canvas app application. It is very much impossible by the inbuilt feature because if one person is in edit mode, here I've created this demo app just to show you this limitation. So you can see up here, I have this account, Vinay, and this person is editing this app and I have other account that is this, leave approval team. And this person is in read only mode. Why this person is in read only mode? You can read up here. This app is read only because Vine has editing control. Because Vine is editing, this person won't be able to edit anything until and unless Vine close this application. So Vine simply can like create labels. He can say, uh, I, I, Vine is editing something like this. He can do, he can save the application. But the other person, that is this person leave approval team in my case won't be able to edit it even though he has the edit access everything let me just show you so he is the co-owner of this app so he has all the all the access to edit this application but he is not able to edit it okay when will he when will he be able to edit it once when i close this application by going back like this okay then this other person will have the edit access he will be able to override this application but uh, till now this person doesn't have any access and you might see uh, the changes are not syncing like uh, I've created one label up here save the application but the changes are not syncing why they are not syncing to make them sync I either I have to refresh the page or you will see one like refresh button up here so let me just refresh this app once this app is being refreshed you will see the label in this in this account also in the sleeve approval team account also but to overcome this limitation, we use GitHub. Okay. Now, before I tell you about GitHub, let me just uh, give you a basic about what is Git. So Git is a DevOps tool used for source code management. Basically, whatever we are developing, that is nothing but a source code, right? So to manage that source code, we use Git and Git is what it is a DevOps tool. Now it is free open source version control system used to handle a small or very large project efficiently. So in with the help of Git, what we do is we manage the versions of our applications simple and Git is used to track the changes. So it can track the changes in our source code. So whatever the last changes we have made, all the changes will be tracked uh, using like dates or history or whosoever person edited that. And it helps multiple developers to work together on non-linear development. So what is a non-linear development? Linear development is something like uh, once this first screen is developed, then the second screen will be developed. But non-linear development is simultaneously if I wanted to develop multiple screens. So that is the example of non-linear development. Okay. So in our case, uh, this uh, basically that is, this is non-linear only, right? Let me, let us say I have five screens and I have given tasks to five people to develop each screens. So that is a non-linear development, correct? So with the help of Gita, we can achieve this at the same time, multiple user can like edit a single application. So it overcome the limitations of this Canvas app power app. Now I have talked about, this is all about Git, but now what is GitHub? So GitHub is a cloud based web service. Okay, simple cloud based web service. It is used for hosting Git repositories. And uh, basically, it give us gives us the user interface to hold the files of our project or our app in this case, simple. So GitHub uses Git. Okay, GitHub uses Git. But Git can be installed locally in our computer as well. But GitHub is a cloud based service or you can say web based service. Now let me just show you how github look like so you can just go to github.com so this is how github look like if you don't have account just sign up if you have your account just sign in in my case i'll sign in this is the account that i am using i'll click on sign in up here so this is my account these are all my projects you can see up here so basically what we have to do is we have to create repositories up here i'm going to show you uh, just now so you can click on new 
you can simply create your repository let's say <coughs> uh, <coughs> get in this case let me name this as get integration app okay just name it and always note that if you are working with the uh, canvas app uh, so this your git repository had to be private it is mentioned in the microsoft documentation the documentation link will be provided in the description so it had to be private in public it doesn't work so it had to be private you can click on this add a readme file it's totally up to you and once this is done just hit on create repository it is that simple to create a repository now this repository system just look like a like file system in our local computer so you can add file you can upload files like this very simple right choose files choose your files so let me choose like this file so i can i can choose file this file will be uploaded i i just need to commit changes simple and this file will be edited to added added to this repository right now in future if i do some changes on this file so i can see like who changed it when it was changed and what what was changed something like that we can do so i was successfully able to do now how to add our project in this github repository for that first of all what you need to do is go to your canvas app power app go to settings go to upcoming features go to experimental search for git version control so here see show the git version control setting let you connect to the app uh, let you connect the app to the git repository now it's not that you can only use github you can use any uh, git base uh, git, git cloud based service like uh, there is azure devops as well github as well and there are other as well so you can use those just see just refer to microsoft documentation uh, I know about GitHub and Azure DevOps. We can integrate both of them. So you can also integrate GitHub or Azure DevOps. Azure DevOps is also a cloud-based uh, this thing, cloud-based service, same as GitHub. So once it is connected, it is saying more than one person can work on the app at the same time, and versions are managed in the repository. So right, this is what we need. As soon as I enable this, see this feature is being enabled for me, right? On the left hand side, you can see Git version control. I'll click on it. So it is saying to use Git version control for this app, you need to connect to the Git repository. I'll hit on connect. Now it is saying, can you provide me the URL for your repository? So I'll go to my GitHub. So this is the URL right on the top. I can say GitHub slash my name slash Git integration app. So Git integration app is nothing but my repository. So I can copy this link. <clears throat> Very well and good. I will paste this link. Now what is this branch? So basically in GitHub we create branch. So by default it will be main branch. You can create like we can create our branch from here like dev branch, test branch or our user like Vinay branch like that multiple users branch we can do right and we can then later on we can give access to someone like uh, he or she will be able to like accept the pull request and all so something like that we can implement but for now i am just keeping this very simple so the branch that we are going to use is this main one only so here in the branch just write main now the third thing is directory name in directory name if you will hover over it if you specify directory that already exists so basically basically directory is nothing but a folder in this repository simple if i tell you in the simple language that is nothing but a folder in this repository okay so like we add file or add folders right like that so it is saying ki if you have your repo directory then well and good if you if if i add like something like this let me give the name of this application let's say uh github <coughs> integration app like this so see if i click on apply so the first thing it is asking me the username so my username is this winner 07 i'll copy this very simple this is done but now what is this personal access token from where can i get this if we'll go to your github then you need to go to settings let me go to settings and there is a setting maybe from here from here i don't think we have so just go to where at the top right corner you will see your image so just click on it uh, here we have settings just go to this settings at last you have developer setting maybe in your case it can be above 
I don't know when you are seeing this video, but it can be above or somewhere. You will find this developer settings. Click on it. And in this see personal access token, is this what we need personal access token? So yeah, let me click up here. So we have two types fine grain. Let me use this token classic one. Okay. Uh, and with this, I can cl click on this generate new token. So you can create a new token. This is in beta version. So let me use this one classic one for now. So expiration, I can set to no expiration, a new personal token it is saying. So for this personal token, I can give the name of the application in your case, like give the name of your application. Let me say get hub integration app expiration. You can set it to like uh, seven days, 30 days, 60, 90. It is recommended that you give expiration like this. Don't set it to no expiration here. Also it is written because it causes security issues. So always remember that if you are working for your organization, so remember this, I'm setting it to no expiration and here you can see a scope to define personal access token. So if you will tick on this, so you can see full control to of private repository. So it will give the full control to our canvas app. This is what we need. So I'll just take this on and can scroll down, click on generate token. So as soon as you will hit on generate token, you will see your token up here. So just copy this token open your notepad right and i'll press ctrl n i'll paste this token up here correct once this token is pasted well and good so this is the token that we will paste up here as well so i have pasted this token i'll click on sign in so it is saying create directory see i told you right that directory is not present here if i'll again <clears throat> now this part is done i'll wait a second let me go to home and, 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 and where is that? Let me go to my repositories here, GitHub integration repositories here. So here I don't have that folder, right? So see, it is asking me to create a create. It is asking me that the directory was not found in your branch. Would you like to create a new one? So I'll say, yes, create a new, like, uh, this directory up there or folder. So it will create one directory for me here. So let me refresh up. So see it created a folder kind of thing, right? So this is what it is calling, calling a directory. And if I'll click on it, see all my project files. Now I'm seeing up here. Commit means like it is being saved. So isn't it amazing, right? So you can see up here, the repository listed below manage the version for this app. Get repository URL as this branch as main. Uh, directory name directory that means folder name which is being connected as this and our work is done you can disconnect it later on if it's totally up to you now that editing is gone everything is gone i have this new feature commit changes and check for git update so see whatever changes this time i'll do i'll sync it with my github simple as that correct see this let me add one more label sync github integrated integrated is a little bit wrong but yeah so this is done and i'll click on this either you can click on this or you can save it's totally up to you so i'll click on the sync so if you'll click on this sync it will also save and if you'll click on save it will also sync so it's it's one and the same you can refresh up here and uh, you can see like uh, the changes in your application so these are the files you don't have to understand this file don't worry if you if you don't understand this file but see this time if i'll go to this application now i'll refresh this application now so it will ask me to give the credential that github credential this time so let's let's wait let us see does it ask us that github credential like the username and and that token so see it is asking me right so in my case, this is the token. I'll copy this. So this is the token and the username uh, in my case is winner 07. So I'll click on sign in. So once this is done, uh, you can see up here getting things ready and great, right? I'm not seeing now that read only sign in here. I have all the features enabled for me. I can also create a new screen saying uh, this uh, leave approval team is working team screen 
the first screen is Vinay's screen. So hey, this is the leave approval team screen. In this screen, leave approval team will work. So let me add a text and put up here. Let me add like a label up here, saying name, something like that you can do. And I'll hit on the sync. See, I'll hit on the sync. And if I'll go to Vinay's account, and if I again click on the sync up here, so I will see the changes very soon. I'll see the see the changes up here as well, which I made made on the sleeve approval side see and in Vinay also I am seeing that a new screen is being created two fields are being two controls are being created so in this way multiple user can work in a single application and it is so amazing right so you can also start using this uh, upcoming feature you, you can go to experimental search for git and start working in like uh, in with with your team together so it is it is so amazing feature so you can enable this start working with it and save your time so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did and if you learned some valuable lesson from it don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the such amazing videos that i'm going to cover in future i'll see you in the next one till then take care goodbye